Seventh graders, this is to help you with question eight on CR 17. It says, Pete bought an $850 snowboard on an eight week layaway plan. Pete made an initial payment of $85. Pete will make a $95 payment for each of the next three weeks, okay? What is the, what is the least possible average payment he must make for each of the last four weeks? All right, three and four make seven. So the initial payment must be his first week's payment. That's the only question I'm having right now, but okay. So he bought a snowboard for a total of $850. So at the end of the day, he's got to make sure he's paid his $850. He's got this eight week layaway plan. He makes an initial payment of $85. So on this side, I'm going to put all the payments he made. He made an initial payment of $85, plus he'll make a $95 payment for each of the next three weeks. So he'll make a $95 payment next week, the week after, the week after that. So for three weeks, he's going to make a $95 payment. So I'm just going to take 95, multiply by three. That way he's paid his initial 85, 95, 95, 95. And then what must he, what average payment must he make for the last four weeks of the payment plan? So let X equal average payment last four weeks of the plan. So then for four weeks, he's going to have to pay X dollars. And once he's paid $85 and then 95, 95, 95, and then four weeks worth of some amount of money, that's got to total up to $850. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. First of all, I have to know what 95 times 3 is. So my scrap work would be 95 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 9 is 27, and one more is 28. So those weeks, he makes a total of $285 in payments. So he makes an initial payment of $85, and then he makes payments of $285. And then he still is going to have four weeks of some amount of money. And at the end of all that, he has to pay off that total of $850. All right. So now I have to take my $285, add that to the $85 he initially paid. I believe that gets me to $370. That he's going to make four payments of some amount of money and he's got to get up to 850. All right, now I'm ready to solve this two step equation. So, what I first need to do is move all my constants over to the right hand side. So, I'm going to subtract 370 on each side. I'm going to take away all those payments he made, then four payments of what will equal, let me just subtract this. I believe it's still $480 he needs to pay. Let me just check. 370 plus 480. I just want to make sure that really gets me back up to 850. Good. Okay. So now to get X all by itself, the operation between the 4 and the X is multiplication. I'll undo multiplication with division. So I'll be dividing the left hand side of the equal sign by 4. And I'll also divide the right-hand side of my equal sign by 4. 4 divided by 4, fancy form of 1. 1x one is just x equals, how many times does 4 go into 480? Here's all my scrap work over here. 4 goes into 4 once. Drag down the 8. 4 goes into 8 twice. Drag down the zero, four goes into zero, zero times. He must make an average payment of $120 for those last four weeks in order to totally pay off his snowboard. Hope that helps.